hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jimaima so this is a new series altogether i'm going in this series i'm going to be discussing we are going to be discussing answers to my professional mbbs exam questions and on this video in particular i'm going to start with my viva questions after my viva questions i'll go into my anatomy my physiology my biochemistry and my practical question papers so if that is what you're here for please stay glued to this series i am sure if you're a preclinical student about to write your main mba exam it's going to help let's get on with the video for viva i'm going to start with my anatomy viva if you've not seen the vlog about my, my viva vlog please go and see it i'll leave the link up here that period i was very sick so i wasn't able to study as much as i would have loved to so i answered those questions my viva question based on background knowledge <laughs> first of all i heard it was a unical professor that was going to be my external examiner for viva i was like wow unical for those who don't know, by the way, I graduated from the University of Calabar, Human Anatomy. I was like, Jesus. The pressure was crazy. I was, I was feeling very crazy because I was like, God, my Unical lecturers, that is those who taught me anatomy in Unical. Put yourself in my shoe. You're a graduate of Human Anatomy. And then your lecturer, your former lecturer comes to ask you a question and you don't know it. The pressure, the tension hits differently. Like, I was tensed. I was afraid. I was scared. I had sweaty palms and I was sick again. I was coughing. I had catar. I had malaria. I had fever. I had headache. Oh my God. That was the craziest time of my life last year. When I walked, I, it was time I, the, the entourage drove in and I truly saw my unical lecturer. I was like, God. And it was my uncle. I was like, God, please. <laughs> let them not assign me to this man please because he will be too disappointed knowing how intelligent i am so he his expectation will be so so high i did not want that and lo and behold the second lecturer the second external examiner was a stranger someone i've never met before i was like god please i want this man <laughs> at that point i needed someone who didn't know me because imagine someone that have known you that have taught you and know how intelligent you are and not just that, it's your uncle. Know how intelligent you are, my God. The person's expectation will be crazy. So I did not just want him at all. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I was not assigned to him. Thank God. I was so happy. <laughs> I was so happy when I discovered that I'm not going to be assigned to him. So that's how I was assigned to the other lecturer that didn't know me at all. Ah, I walked into the office. I was in my nose mask as usual. I was just coughing erratically. I was like, God, please take this cough away from me. I was just disgracing my ancestors with that cough. It was so, so, so uncomfortable. But thank God I made it. I got into the office, greeted him. The man told me to sit down. Wow, the man was actually very nice. He told me to sit down. And then he looked at me and now asked me a question. He was like, what can you tell me about the histology of the vagina? I started talking. I started with the epithelial lining of the vagina and I, I was about to move to the different layers, you know, mucosa and blah, 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 blah. He just told me, it's okay, you can go. I was like, eh? So I can go? <laughs> he said, yes, you can go. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Like, I was, in fact, I nearly jumped. <laughs> my God. I was so happy when the man told me you can go. Jesus. I walked out. I was I put my hands on my pocket, you know, as a big girl that I am. I was so happy. I was feeling fly. I was like, Jesus, so I'm done with anatomy for the rest of my life. Yay! I was so happy. That was it though. That was it. So next viva was biochemistry viva. Oh um, uh, <laughs> Well, I can't survive. I was shaking my body. I don't know. I'm, I just have this PTSD, you know. Since I used to fail biochemistry terribly in my first degree, I, anytime I hear anything about chemistry, it they pay me like it they put fear from my heart. Let me enter pigeon. <laughs> so when it was time for biochemistry, I was like, God, please. I was so scared. I was like, Hey, biochemistry again. And that was it. I. I said, uh, then I started feeling a bit better, but I was still sick though. But I was feeling a bit better. So I walked in, greeted the man. The man was like, yes, sit on more. The man's face was strong. Sha, no smile at all. He was very strict. 
I just greeted him. He said, you can sit. I, I sat. He asked of my name. I told him uh, my tag was there, obviously. Then he now asked me, um, he just asked me, how do the body handle reactive oxygen species? I was like, the first thing, the, do you know what the first thing that came to my mind? I was like, change source, thank you. Because that is something that I know, even though you wake me up from sleep and ask me that question, I will download it for you. <laughs> so I answered him. I told him what re um, reactive oxygen species were. I said that I told him how it's generated and now mentioned how the body breaks it down into all the way down, all the enzymes involved down to oxygen and water everything the mom was like okay that's good you can go i was like wow like i can go just like that oh my god i was like yeah <laughs> i was like yay 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 and when i came out immediately i came out of the hall i met the lady the but one of the biochemistry officers or something i was in charge and the lady was like come back by 2 30 p.m for distinction interview i was like me distinction interview <laughs> hey i nearly fainted i nearly passed out i nearly fainted it was not a joke hi only god knows how i felt that day good i'm grateful though as i made distinction interview how <laughs> see eh, this imposter syndrome i've suffered I have never looked at myself as someone that can have a distinction in biochemistry because I have a strong PTSD. I know how much I used to struggle in biochemistry in my first degree. So when they told me I had a distinction by interview to attend, I was like, oh my God. That was it though. I went back home. I went back to my hostel, came back for the distinction interview. And then I now met with my, I saw my my faculty um biochemistry officer and he was like so you are the reina eteng i was like hey god uh, the man he didn't know me i was like so you're the reina eteng i said yes sir i was like hey god but long story short they we had it we i and others that were called for the distinction distinction viva we did some kind of group discussion and then after when to when they finished calculating our scores to be sure that each and every one of us truly crossed that distinction they had a departmental board meeting after that they now came and told us they were ready for us my heart was bukum, bukum, bukum. God. my heart was beating like mad they now seized all of our phones so that we would not communicate they now took us to a class and we sat down there the one by one <laughs> when the first person came out oh mother she knows she knows smile i was like yeah if this person is not smiling who am i <laughs> all right guys as usual the video was too long i'm going to upload the second part of this video tomorrow come back tomorrow and i remain your girl jemima bye